So as a part of SDG 4, we see what is the way forward. Uh, where do we go and uh, where, how do we go? So we see that as part of SDG 2030, there is a new vision for education. That's, that's very important. Or ye vision kya hai? Ye vision hai to transform the lives of people through education. So education becomes the means for changing the lives of the people, for the transformation of the lives of the people. So, kaha ye gya hai? That education as the main driver of development. Education as the main driver of development and in achieving the other proposed SDGs. So, kehne ki baat ye hai ke it is central for the achievement of uh, uh, SDGs 2030. Jo 17 SDGs hain, sustainable development goals hain, un mein education is very prominent in the sense that it is instrumental in the achievement of those those goals. So SDG 4 proposed is uh, uh, proposed kya kiya gaya hai? that education should be inclusive. It should uh, not discriminate. Not only inclusive but also equitable quality education. Inclusive to hai lekin education ki quality bhi hume wo equitable banani chahiye and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all jab inclusive hogi to then uh, we look for every individual every group every community every ethnicity sdg4 is inspired by humanistic vision of education and development that is based on ab humanistic vision hai aur is humanistic vision mein kya hai human rights and dignity it should be based on human rights and dignity it should be based on let's say social justice it should be inclusive uh, inclusion is part of it it's based on protection protection from all kinds of hazards from all kinds of encroachments for all kinds of attacks. Uh, it's based on cultural, linguistic, and ethnic diversity. Uh, due recognition to all this kind of varieties and variabilities. And also, there should be a shared responsibility and accountability. It's not the responsibility of only the state, but all the people uh, of a country uh, at the at the country level and then globally as well therefore in that context education is considered as a public good which is to be used extrinsically for every every everybody anybody could use it it's for the public good it is a fundamental human rights and a basis for guaranteeing the realization of other rights. Because education creates awareness, people might be, may become aware of their rights. And when they become aware of their rights, then they might make an effort for the achievement, for the attainment of those rights. Therefore, education is a means for the achievement of uh, basic rights. Therefore, it is considered essential for uh, making peace, for, uh, for generating tolerance among the people. So it is uh, essential for human fulfillment and sustainable development. So, ek baat thi ke Majuda jo developments a rahi hai, uske saath tensions create ho rahi hai, uske saath conflicts a rahi hai. So education jo hai, it might uh, be instrumental in the creation of uh, tolerance. 
in the in the development of logic in building the argument so through the logic through the arguments through tolerance this conflict might be overcome so issues of educational policy making in a complex world usme pehla issue hai we need to recognize and to respond to the gap between formal education and employment तो ये एक गैप की वजह से बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम आते हैं और जहाँ भी हम देखते हैं कि कल्चर का एक हिस्सा अगर तेज़ी से बढ़ रहा है और दूसरा उसके साथ कोप नहीं कर रहा तो इट क्रिएट्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ डिसऑर्गेनाइजेशन एजुकेटेड लोग ज़्यादा आ गए हैं वो कहीं इम्प्लॉय नहीं हो रहे तो देन इट क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम्स सो वी हैव टू रिकगनाइज दैट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन दूसरी बात है मस्ट फेस द चैलेंज ऑफ रिकगनाइजिंग एंड वैलिडेटिंग लर्निंग इन ए वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग मोबिलिटी अक्रॉस बॉर्डर्स प्रोफेशनल ऑक्यूपेशन एंड लर्निंग स्पेस ये दुनिया जो है इंटरकनेक्टेड है तो इसके बेसिस पर हमें ये भी देखना है कि हाउ जो आप एक जगह पर लर्निंग कर रहे हैं हाउ दैट इज मार्केटेबल अदर प्लेस एज वेल और इसी तरह हम देखते हैं तीसरी बात री थिंक सिटीजनशिप एजुकेशन सो बैलेंसिंग रेस्पेक्ट फॉर प्लूरलिटी विद यूनिवर्सल वैल्यूज एंड कंसर्न फॉर कॉमन ह्यूमैनिटी चौथी बात है कंसिडर द कम्प्लेक्सिटीज ऑफ नेशनल पॉलिसी मेकिंग इन एजुकेशन टूगेदर विद पोटेंशियल फॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्लोबल गवर्नेंस कम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ नेशनल पॉलिसी मेकिंग इन एजुकेशन तो उसमें अलग से इशूज़ हैं वराइटी ऑफ ग्रुप्स हैं वराइटी ऑफ कम्यूनिटीज़ हैं कल्चरल वेरिएबिलिटीज हैं एंड देन वी सी दैट देर इज लॉट ऑफ इंटरफीरेंस फ्राम लट से आउटसाइड ग्लोबल इंटरफीरेंस आ रही है बिकॉज ऑफ वेरियस नीड्स Uh, with respect to funding in the low income countries so there is a uh, need to recontextualize foundational principles for the governance of education particularly the right to education and the principle of education as a public good so in cheezon ko samne rakhte hue unesco has proposed that there should be greater attention uh, in education policy to knowledge greater attention be paid in education policy to knowledge okay knowledge ki creation ki baat aa rahi hai okay it's not simply education but the focus is from education to knowledge and to the ways in which it is created acquired validated and issues so that knowledge how it is created how it is validated and then how it is used is it uh, used by uh, uh, let's say it is it used globally is it uh, uh, restricted uh, to that particular group or community iska use kya hai then second is considering education and knowledge as global common goods could be a useful approach to reconciling the purpose and organizing organization of learning as a collective societal endeavor in a changing world so ultimately we see ke ye jo knowledge hai this is uh, uh, to be considered as a common good not as a public good but as a common good ab jab common good ki baat kar rahe hain to usme यूनिटी uh, की बात भी आ रही है कोहिसिवनेस की भी बात आ रही है सॉलिडेरिटी की बात भी आ रही है एंड देन दैट बिकम्स लेट्स से द शेयर्ड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एवरी बॉडी नॉट ओनली विद इन द कंट्री बट ग्लोबली सो दैट इज हाउ दिस वे फॉरवर्ड इज बीइंग लुक्ड एट 